Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft 365 for Excel has a really cool feature called Max Ifs, M A X I F S. This also is in Excel 2019. So I'm going to start off with a really easy example, and then I'm going to cover how to find the latest invoice date for somebody. I've done this video before, it was done approximately 18 months ago. And here is the formula I used back then up in the formula bar. I used the max function and I used the if function. But today is max ifs. So here we go. I've got down below here a list of clients. And all I really care about is the invoice amount. I just threw in some extra data here. For client A, who's had two orders, 101 and 105, what is the highest invoice amount? So I'm going to use the max ifs function. Three arguments at least, but you could actually do more. It wants to know what's the maximum range. Well, I'm looking for the highest invoice amount. So I'm going to select this range, H12 to H19, comma, criteria range 1 is asking, okay, what do you want to know? And I want to know for the clients. So I'm going to select the clients comma now it just says criteria one what are you looking for i'm looking for client a i put it in double quotes it is not case sensitive that is all i need right here i hope i get the answer 600 because order 101 was 500 and order 105 was 600 and i do there's my formula up in the formula bar I will also put the formula using formula text right here on the screen for you. If I change this from client A to client E, I should get 675 and I do. One more test. Let's make this 1000 and it changes to 1000 here. So there's max ifs right there. So someone pointed out when I did my uh, max if function back in February 2019. They said, is there another way to do it? Two easy ways. One is going to be with max ifs, but also I thought about this. I'm just going to use a pivot table. So now I'm looking at this data over here. I want to find the latest invoice date for all my clients, not just one client, all of them. So I'm just going to click inside my data and I'm going to do a pivot table. Usually when I do a pivot table, I always put it on another worksheet. But for this example, since we're in training, I'm going to stick it right here. Just to show you this, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to drag client down to the rows. So there are my unique clients. I'm going to drag invoice dates down to the values. And Excel's probably going to sum them up if I had to take a guess. What counted them, that works too. I'm going to double click the word count. And I'm going to just tell it to do the max. It's probably not going to display it correctly. Dates or numbers, just highlight them. I actually don't need that grand total. I'll get rid of it. I'm on the home tab. I'm in the number group. Let's just go with a short date. Let's see if this works. Although I'm going to get rid of the grand total, right click, um, I go this way, design, grand totals, off. There we go. Let's see if this is right. Chris Menard is obviously by myself, 910. That one's good. Coca Cola, I came up with 99. There you go. Home Depot, I'm just going to do one more check. The eighth, let's test this. I'm going to change Home, home Depot and sell B8 to December 23rd, 2021. Right click and a refresh. December 23rd, 2021. There you go. Now, if you want to use the max ifs function to do this, I'm going to highlight my clients and copy. So this is a cool exercise now just on using some features in Excel, I'm going to paste. If you paste here, we've got a feature called remove duplicates because I've got duplicate values in here and I just want to see the unique. 
I'm going to go to the Data tab and remove the duplicates. It's going to say, do you have a header row? I do. It's Client. Hit OK. There are my unique. Come over here. I'm looking for the latest invoice date. Make it bold. Let's try our max ifs. By the way, there is no max if. It's ifs with an s. What range am I looking for? Again, three arguments. I'm looking for the latest invoice date. I'm going to, because I'm doing it for each one, I do need to absolute reference that with the F4 function key, comma, what is your criteria range one? Over here, comma, oh, I need to absolute reference those two. One second, F4, F4. And then what range you're looking for, it's this range where I just found the duplicate. So I'm going to highlight this. Again, absolute. I'm good. Again, I got dates. I'm just going to come to the Home tab, highlight the dates, tell Microsoft Excel, short date. Uh, still working, by the way. Delta should be the 7th. I'm just doing a quick check. Coca-Cola is the 9th. And I put myself in there just to have one client listed once. And I put in Microsoft too. Correct. Right click. Correct. I could also have done this with a subtotal now I'm thinking about it. But I'm not going to. I think I've covered enough and I want to keep this fairly short. I appreciate your time. Just so you know this about the max if functions, actually I'm going to do one more. It has a minimum of three arguments, but you can go up to, I believe it's 120, 126. So here is my example of that now that I've got you here. I'm going to do the same range down here. I'm looking for the highest invoice amount. You select that first, comma, my criteria one is my clients. What client are you looking for? I'm going to keep this easy and do A again. Comma, criteria range two. What else are you looking for? I am looking for states. What state are you looking for? GA. I could keep going with a comma up to, it's either 124 or 126. But I should get, on this example right here, for Georgia, client A, I should get 600. I do. I'm going to change this to South Carolina. This should change to 500 at the bottom. And it did. Again, formula text. That is the formula I use to get the 500. I'm using it with two criteria instead of one. I knew there was a reason I put all that in there. <laughs> anyway, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.